I'm going to show you how to convert a physical Linux machine into a virtual machine using VMware vCenter Converter Standalone. I first went to VMware and I downloaded the VMware Converter 5.5.3. After downloading, I installed it, pretty much clicking next, 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 and then I ran it. So I'm going to select File, New, and I'm going to convert a machine. It's a, currently a powered on Linux machine. The IP address of my machine is 192.168.10.10. .10. I type in my root username and my root password. And make sure you choose the OS type. It defaults to Windows, choose Linux, hit next. And this is the SSH key that is going to ensure that the SSH connection is encrypted. Hit yes to accept that key. Next it's going to ask me the machine that I want to put this on. This is your ESXi server. This is a standalone server running ESXi version 4. I type in the IP address of the server, type in the username on that server and the password. and click next. It might prompt you for a security key as well. Answer ignore. Next, it already read the name of the Linux machine. On this Linux machine, I'm running MediaWiki software, so I have it called MediaWiki. And it pulled in information and it's asking me, these are your current virtual machines running on your ESXi VMware server what is the name of this new virtual machine that you're going to create from the physical machine? You type that in here. If you want to change it, you're more than welcome to. Hit next. And it says it's going to create a virtual machine. It's going to store it either on the QNAP data store or the data store one. I'm going to start my QNAP. This is my network attached storage. And it shows me the size of the disk. It's a 20 gig disk. What version of VMware workstation do you want? I'm going to leave it at 7 and this is the name of my server. This is the ESXi server that it's going to be storing it on. Next. And it's showing me a little summary of everything it's going to do. The network that it's going to put it on, default devices it's going to create. If this is all correct, I'm going to hit next. You can obviously modify those by clicking edit on the right hand side. And there it is. And you hit finish, and it will start the process. This process can take anywhere from half an hour to several hours, depending on how large and how much data is actually going to be copying over. Here it shows running. It'll show completed when it's done, and the estimated time is one hour. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch this for one hour. So when it's all done, I should have a working virtual machine on my ESXi server. And if I want to take a look at it, let me connect to it. So while that's running, I'm going to connect to my server. And this was 192.168.10.30. And log in with the username and password. Oh, it wants me to run the installer because I have an older version here. So I'm going to cancel this and try to do this on another instance. I'm going to run my VMware client.
So I'm connecting to my ESXi 4.0 server, and we should see on there a new virtual machine created called MediaWiki. And here it shows reconfigured virtual machine. So this was all done through the converter program. And here's my MediaWiki virtual machine. If I look at the console, it's currently being copied over, running the software that the converter is running. So all of this stuff was done automatically by the converter, which is 8% done. I've got about a half an hour left. So with that, I'll let you guys go. And when it's all done, power down your physical machine and power this one back up because it will shut down when it's finished. And then you will have a working virtual machine and you can throw away your physical machine because now it's in a virtual world. Thanks for watching.